is not something that uh, is a common occurrence, really, with any church. But we have been facing a lot of hate, uh, not only, and what, I, I'm going to be completely honest here, the hate we see has, I mean, it is increasing due to the particular drag events that we are sponsoring, but this church receives hate all year long. It just does. A local pastor addressing members of his church after a violent act of vandalism leaves many visibly shaken. Church leaders say someone threw Molotov cocktails at the door and destroyed their sign all over the church's plans to host a drag queen story hour next weekend. Some like it, some don't. And the controversy has been brewing for weeks. City Yorker picks up the story in Geauga County. As folks walked into Community Church of Chesterland for Sunday services, they were faced with a visible reminder of hate in the community. Church leaders say vandals threw Molotov cocktails at the door Friday night and busted this sign right on the front lawn. What did the sign say? The sign, um, I believe this sign said, please don't steal our flags and they decided to bust it. Um, the sign next to it um, just welcomes people to the church. It's a very welcoming, inclusive, open church uh, with the history of supporting the LGBTQ community. Some neighbors are in shock. This is a, a nice community. There's not much um, burglary or theft or stuff. You know, there's, I don't see a lot of that here. What's happening? No, <laughs> I don't know. It's I just I thought a tree took out your sign, and I know the flags have gotten stolen before. Um, but my husband's family grew up in this church, and it's really sad to see that there's not um, a community of caring. No one was hurt in any of the incidents, but local police are investigating. Mallory McMaster, who organizes events for the church, says there's been an uptick of hateful emails messages and threats since the church announced its drag queen story hour on april 1st it is in conjunction with the drag brunch planned at element 41 in chardon that has also received threats they hope that our restaurant burns down um, now that kind of hurts because there's a family of four with two children that live upstairs as a result McMaster and others have been working with law enforcement and say they're prepared for protests. There's a police presence here this morning for Sunday services because of recent threats from several known hate groups. Church leaders tell me that typically isn't the case. They're still fundraising for extra security. To date, they've raised about $800. They're looking to raise $10,000 to protect guests who attend these events. The show is going to go on. You know, um, I think that the most important thing to remember is we're doing this to show people in our community who need us that we're committed to doing hard things for them, whether that's young people, trans people, or closeted folks in a rural environment. So even if they push back, we're going to push back harder because they need us. Reporting in Chesterland, CN Yorker, 19 News.